have my own uh, respect. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, my brother, talk to me about um, Grammy Award. You know, the 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 the, the, the I get a Grammy Award, and Sorry. you know this <laughs> this this is this is just another. This is just another level of um, you know, what the I, you know, is doing, and you know, we we, 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 we see Randy Valentine performing around the world, and you know, as an artist, but you know, he's collecting a Grammy Award. Or talk, talk to it. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 the whole thing. Though. You see, production is my one of my main things right now, like. I know the studio with it. You see me? I know the studio with it right now. <laughs> production. I wanna the main thing I'm do. Even while I was learning to record and learning to write and all that thing, I was learning production. I wanna say there's a, a brother in our England and named Michael Million. Michael Million. Yeah? Michael Million. You see me? In the hip hop field. He's a brother from Ghana. And I him teach me how to quantize. You see me? He teach me how to quantize the beat and put it together. And from this up, the lucky in. So me I produce a beat almost that every week every week from 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 I don't know for the past 15, 15 years now. Wow. Yeah, me I produce a, a, a beat. A beat. Just making a beat. You know, so the the session with the, the Grammy that came from working with my friend J5, who I am been working with for years again. So the same studio where I'm gonna learn for vice and sing, same place I'm gonna learn for produce uh, you know, a, a percentage of what he learned. In that room, mm -hmm. four or three of us, uh, or maybe seven of us as brothers in the thing called JOAT. So, well, after him, him thing as a producer, you now he just he just move and him go and him say, Randy, I know you love singing, but I know you're really good at production. Come lucky in and just come do some time. And he's been saying that to me for years, 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 years. And just now the January part, we decided to give it some time, and then boom, everything happened. I mean, we're happy, lucky in and and do the thing, and it. This is how it unfolded, you know, lucky with some more beats. Burner Boy, the session, big up Burner Boy. It was a joy for work with him as well, you know. <laughs> He's a giant for real. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's, it's an amazing energy, especially for the song on the project, the night, you know, the studio, man, and the man. Yeah, it was all magic. Everybody was in sync. Everybody was in sync, and we, we were just vibing. And it unfolded as such. You know, big up J5. Thank you to all of the organizers that organize these sessions. You know what I mean? And big up Bernard as well and his whole team. But yeah, that was a, it's a good thing to have step out in a 2020 time. Yeah, yeah man, great, um, great achievement. Um, yeah, great. My brother, you know, you know, give thanks to, you know, them, them type of work there. You know, because, you know, you have this narrative more time that goes around where um, within reggae music, um, yeah. you will hear, oh, it's just the Marlies, them alone, I get um, the, 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 the Grammys and, and, and thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, 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 what the eye has, has done now, it does show you that you know that nar narrative is 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 really um, null and void, Zin. Yeah, because apply yourself, mate. for real. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Apply yourself. That's what the Malis are doing. I don't question it. I see. I see application of effort, and I see how application of effort unfold. Some more time, I think in front of you is only moving because there's something moving it. That's effort. What is it that you'd love to move? Mm. What are you? How much? How much? How, are you asking yourself how much of myself or how much of the self does it require to be able to keep this thing turning? What is it that I need to acquire to be able to make this thing? So these are the things I question, you know. And then that's why the 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 things that come in from it. Sometimes I don't even get to see them. I I, I grab them with because I'm so focused on, like I said, I make beats every day, and just because I make beats every day, in comes these things. Mm. It's not that. In comes these things, and I want to go make beats every day. For the mere fact that I make beats every single day, in comes all of these things, you know? The, the repetition and all of the work. And yes, sir. The, the, the rooms that one, one room will bring you to another room. The people that you will meet from just applying yourself to your passion. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's, it's a joyous thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, Grammy. Yeah, great, great thing. Um, I, I think the year is it the year this yeah the the, the year before that we saw um, uh, what's her name? Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was big as well. That was big. Uh, I, I know. I still I still listen to that tune. You know what I mean? I try to hear that tune every time. And to know that something like that, you know, shifted the the, the sound space like that. Come off of the island. The, the 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 I all right. I would say the I is that you know a a a, a, a young man, Zane, yes, and um. Oh, oh, you view this whole thing of 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 you know reggae music and you know what what you're doing because um I think a lot of ones don't know the power that you know this music really um, carry. You know you yeah. you. You you go around the world and you you perform to you know people outside of you know um, quote unquote reggae lovers you know mm. yeah. and you know you perform for these people and you know they love it and you know they request you again and you know it, it becomes repetitive see yeah. Oh, 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 you, see, oh, you see the whole thing because you know we, 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 we you are gonna get a, a, a Jamaican or you gonna get a reggae um, person or artist, a Kalika reggae, whenever time it, it, it come around, but it don't yeah. necessarily mean say it, it going to be um, a Rasta artist or um, you know it could be. Anyone who is making reggae music, you know what I mean? Because like, what, what what happens when the the Rasta man make it and the Bollywood man feel it? You know what I mean? What's happening there? It's like it's just, it's a vibration. I, I I feel it's more of a frequency than any other brand that we can put to it. You know, mm. it's how you feel with how I want and how true you can you are to you the self within the moment. You know. Our truth is the representation. Our truth is the expression, and how much this exp- expression represent the, the, your present moment, you know, and that kind of honesty. And sometimes that could happen just over drums. That could happen over everything, anything. That could happen a cappella in that space, and it just steals the space, you know. So sometimes reggae, as thing for the genre and the sound, it allows um, it, it prepares a better space for that, that conversation to come across. Rather than sometimes the jump up thing, uh, you know, like this then makes makes room. So sometimes I feel like that's what's happening. Where I wouldn't say it's limited to the sound, or it's limited mm-hmm. to either a man singing it, or limited to a woman singing it, or limited to, to it coming from uh, a, a, a specific space, like as in a country. I, I don't do that. I don't even play a country war. <laughs> you see me? I don't even play a country war. You see me, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I wouldn't say that. I would say, you know, it's the truest expression within a moment. It could be a conversation that's reggae to I, you know, to someone else will be different, and that's also allowed. And that then is reggae. That's the vibe, you know. Uh, um, but um, sometimes, what why I choose to do it in, in, in the form or how it unfolds, sometimes I'm catching up to it. But sometimes. The songs that I learned as a youth that I love listening to and the conversations that I met in music from the artists that I've never met in person, that makes me want to sing even more, knowing that these are the ways that some of the conversations travel throughout this earth space. You know? Yes, I, Yeah, and, and uh, so many different artists that I listen to. And listening as in, I, I can hear... If if it, they were just seconds away from saying Randy, this are you me at that, bro. And they you know, they play such a strong part as just well as my family, my mother, my father, in how the the space is nurtured, you know. So I listen. And this is still I think that's a part of the farming thing, you know. I don't know about water. I will bring your father, bring your good food, you know. <laughs> so we we'll listen we'll, and I just want to share more. And so that's what the practice does, you know. That's what the practice does. 
And I think that's what that, I, I think maybe that answers the question, you know. Because <laughs> I just know the idea is just that yeah, people are doing it in many different forms. I, I love this. I feel like what you're doing, you know, in another space, I could call it reggae. Because this is just it at work, sharing the frequency and being true, the truest version of yourself in the moment. This is your passion unfolding now. So that's um, yeah. reggae. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give thanks. Give thanks. Um, the 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 eye the as I said the, the the eye does come up zin and you know in in our space because the the UK space is is a very tight space, zin. Yes, John. And the eye as a reggae artist, the 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 eye have bridged that gap. We 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 see a lot of um you know good uh British bass. Um, reggae artists over the years, um, yeah. but the 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 eye seems to have. I I, I don't want me no one no one feel like that disrespect is still in her. See it? Same. Same but the the, the 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 I feel like the eye has excel um, above um, some of you know our brothers and sisters who are uh, doing the music. Mm. That could be said, but is that I wouldn't say it. I mean, I don't want to feel that. like that disrespect still. You know, and that means that what you're trying to say, you should probably find another way to say it. Somebody told me that there's a billion ways to say what we're trying to say. <laughs> yeah. There's a billion ways to say what we're trying to say. If we can find the best way to say it. Sometimes I found that if I'm going to say that, I'm, I, if I, you know, create a space where I allow myself to say I'm good at this, and I then I that, that then that is, 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 I am not good. Because it is better than someone else's thing, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. so that's what um the 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 sometimes the, the, the chart system and all of them thing there, you know, first, second, and third, and all of them thing. We just love music. We love music. My music can good because it's better than the next man's song. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> we just love music, you know. So, we, we, we see my brother them, see my sister them. Um, yo, Gappy. And the thing with me and Gappy I carry over the years is knowing that every time we go there. Uh, yeah, man. Big up Gappy. Big up, big up, big up Gappy. Big One of the artists. reasons why I also started singing a little bit less was because of Gappy in the last two, three years. Because, you know what I mean? I'm a brother that we are, we are, we are, we are just a do the work. We are working silent. We are working in distance. We are sharing the space. And we him help and we help him. And we see each other. And we salute each other every time we're out. Every time we meet each other on the front line, it's like, yeah, I see you. Yeah, I do the work, you know? And that give me a big energy. But then, um, you know, for the unfortunate happenings, for what happened to him, man, I say, yo, Jano, man, this thing, I will there, fight for more time. When we say, yo, I will, mm. I will, I will, I will think, I will, I will, I will village this, we are part of this village, this community, this thing. I want to say that with him. I don't know, I don't know if this thing, if it reciprocated that amount of energy, you know? So I say, Jano. So that's, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, back to talking to them two youth, yeah. <laughs> then rather this, the assumed th- th- thing that we have in our head sometime of the world we have, to, what we have to carry, you know, this thing that we inherit, of the world that we have to carry, sometimes the world that we, we actually should carry is right in front of us. Sometimes we pass the, the, the thousand people, then what we are going to want to sing to in front of the stage. You know, when the people pass at their time, if you just see them and share the joy that you have within, then you find that you probably don't even need to run towards in the future to go sing it to mm. uh, the rest of the world, you know? Share the love. It's immediate. It's there. You're yeah, always... Man. It's always happening. Always. You know? Continuous. Continuously, man. So I just wanted to then listen the thing for the stage and say, yo, let me come work in the studios to de- help develop some more talent and um, bring forward some more artists like the island, like Gappy. And, you know, I, I, I wanted to see more. It was tiring, uh, a little bit exhausting being out there with just me and, and Gappy and then you know, Christopher and then, then most of them say Bitty and then we go somewhere else and then say, yeah man, Bitty and then Gappy and Christopher yes, and Brandy and then. there's a lot more, you know, but it's, the, 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 yeah, it could have, could have been happening in a way where you can't mention the amount of artists we have, you know, it was too easy to mention the handful, so we need more. So I just come back here and just learn. That's why I've been learning production so much. That's why I'm one of the artists that I'm learning so much because the producers that we're relying on to, to be able to shift the space, 
we're probably going to have to become them. True. We're going to we're gonna have to learn it because we have an understanding for this art at this level. And then we can relate to the uh, artist friends at this level. And then we can probably deal with it at a more, uh, if, if necessary, rapid pace, you know? But yeah, man, we have to learn the thing so we can build it. Uh, that's the, 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 the thing there. True, true. Yeah, man. I think if you um, rephrase the question in a better way, yeah, you know, you see, you know, as we said that the, the eye has covered more ground over a short period of time, you know? Yes, sir. So, Maybe you'll find it though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That's true. I'm, I'm grateful. It's true, man. I'm grateful. They were, I had a strong team. And I had a, um, yeah, man. I had a very strong team. And it's great, it's very strict support system, where it be audience, you know, or everybody else that I know on the journey. And they were very welcoming. Every other country I went to, they were very welcoming. It's, you know, the way now I say, I think one time we get move off our stage. <laughs> <laughs> one time we get <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> yeah, moving off our stage one time. <laughs> With that Germany. Yeah. And you know, we got to do a show in that Germany. And, that's in the deep south Germany. Me and my brother did it, and we had DJ, and uh, it was uh, some army barracks, and that's some some yard man in the place, too. And I think they were in the army base. And the man, I sing the reggae, poor man's loving vibe. And the man, they say, Yo, artists, look good. It's the way they get them gone. <laughs> 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 oh, <man>. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. You know, it not take five minutes before he, you know, step off of his stage. And, and then, <laughs> just start laughing, laughing, you know, just laughing, laughing. And say, yeah, general, this is an experience. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was an experience, yeah. Yeah. But that time, you know, we have to look forward to that thing that, mm -hmm. part of it, you know. Part, part of, of the journey. Part, part, of, of it, part of the process. Part of the process. We love all of it now, Jaja. I remember not loving it. So I also relate to an artist that's also going through his phase, mm -hmm. his or her phase, to know that it is a process. I remember, um, yeah, man, all of the, the things that we speak about, yes, the irritation, and then learning that it's my approach to this situation. What am I meant to learn here? What, what, it's not even a matter of lack, but what could I have been applying that would then you know, alleviate me from this space, rather than what I could come here, request, hoping to to receive from a one that's probably also looking to receive something else. You know what I mean? And we're all out here living like this. So apply, 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 apply yourself. Yeah. So that's yeah, yeah I know. So, so that's yeah, I know. Um, let me ask the eye this. Um, cause, you know, the, the eyes are, the, 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 the eyes are very cultural artists and, uh, and you know, very schooled. What do you think about, um, you know, feuding the music? Yeah. You know, like, you know, some people will call it competition. You know, yeah. do, do, you, do you think it do good for, 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 for the music, you know, to, you know, have, you know, a bit of competition ever, you know, every now and then? Yeah, know, I what, think... It, it varies. It varies. Sometimes two people can connect and say, yo, let's, you know, let's, 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 yeah, man. They say, iron sharp iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I've seen that two people sitting in that room and say, you know, we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to battle each other. You know, mm -hmm. I watch, no, but I know, I watch back up, no, you know, two of you did that say, yo, we're going to battle each other. And they, um, inspire each other or drive each other to, to even write better you know mm -hmm. and sharpen up them skill there's that and then there's also the other side where um i feel in order what would i want to step yeah in order for one to go go further it requires some kind of shady move me, me no no i know just music that i like that so, so all right, know, well, all right. When when you start to get personal, no. When when I want to start to get personal with the music, yeah. and you know, like you know, start you know. That's possible for every artist, given that every artist sometimes is writing from that space. Yeah, sometimes where where like I said, why did sometimes when it, when the DJ player was personal to him, you can tell sometimes it's his passion and work. Yeah, man. Sometimes the creative is not even able to write beyond that. 
sometimes um or i can speak for myself there's so many songs that i haven't shared again which is just my own therapeutic ex um, expression of writing and being able to have this conversation that's probably transpiring in my head and i can get it out in audio sometimes we share the songs sometimes we choose not to sometimes we even send it to one bridge and i say oh listen to this and then it becomes what it needs to be mm -hmm. you know sometimes that's even why our people even write songs why, why again i say tell a, a, a artist who's probably experiencing some frustration learn the craft because sometimes just making a song just you know lift you from a space to a next because it, uh, it allows the flow you know you know get stuck in anything and allows it to come through so this is one way where singers and players of instruments practice their process so given that it's a personal thing a lot of people may be writing from their personal space uh, I'm not sure where, where I want to experience. Sometimes the best way to um, hear are, are the most that we have over one's experience is through the song that they're sharing in a conversation. You know, like a lot of my, again, the songs that I write, um, I catch up to them. You know, I catch up to them sometimes. It's just, it's just, yeah, share thoughts, share, short, share, share thoughts to paper, share thoughts to paper. They say sometimes it's, it's an emotion where you don't, not all of your emotions, them you hold on to throughout the whole day. Here's a thing to think of, you know. You it's think an artist can get carried away um, with, 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 with how they start a pen um, mm -hmm. or, or formulate the, 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 the content scene um, where them, 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 you know, that's the, 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 it's, it starts to get more than personal, you know what I mean? And, you know, the battle become now like it's a war now. And, you know, and it was the same. That's not music. That's not happening. You see that? You see, it. I think, I don't not only think it's possible. I've seen it. Yeah, man, I've seen that in music. Yeah, man. It ain't a music, man. People write songs and say, you know, this is a long distance conversation. I've seen it in songs. But like I said, I receive some where I feel like people writing songs, reaching out to I in the greatest of ways. And I, if it, if it happens in this way, what's to say that it doesn't happen in another way where a person is just saying something else? Mm. So that's the idea. Yeah, we do that. How much are you, where you, how much are you, you think about, uh, you know, how much are you think about, you remember, like for that you, you hold into holding memory, like from yesterday. Where sometimes if you write it down, it will be stuck. You will hold it as a memory; it becomes tangible. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the thought passes, and how many thoughts that pass do you actually don't hold on to? So they say the memory is so unreliable sometimes because it chooses what it wants to remember, and you can make it remember something by writing it down. You know, and it becomes, you know. So sometimes if it's, it's the process that the person is going through the experience and they're writing down what they in that immediate moment, it can become a real thing. You can make it real. That's the power of the writing and the word. And you make a moment tangible and sharing it in song can then become a different thing sometimes if you're not conscious of that you're opening the world to your um an emotion that's personal to you there you Jaja. you open up yourself to an emotion that's personal to you and then it's now the world's conversation to partake in and i wrote a song called too late but, but I, I still i still apologize for it. you know i feel like it was a song about some about a girl and I say half of the conversation because me I make you look like a fear of art. When the deeper reasoning is that okay then there was my part that I played. So if I'm gonna then share this conversation, there's the the, the better conversation to say rather than pointing, you know? Yeah and balance it. Like, yeah balance it man I didn't do it like that. But that's like it sometimes it, it does take a you know you can do that with some sometimes it requires a level of mind to do that. I don't want to get up and say everybody if you do that, but that also, you know, makes the listening experience a better experience sometimes. Yeah. You may ask the eye now. We have about two more questions for the eye, and we have got, we have got let the eye move. Yes, um, the music that the eye do, Zane, does does it um, does it uh, what what the word does does it influence? 
does 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 yeah. the eye music influence because yeah, it, it does i would say so um I would the, say so. the content of certain music zine yeah. um like for instance there's a narrative that goes around with dancehall music that you know it have and not just only dancehall music but also music like trap music and 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 other sort of hip-hop music where they, 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 they say it have a uh, influence on how you know society then um react then in terms of crime and violence you you you, you think the music of that power it does it doesn't have that advice why them to choose them frequencies wisely mm -hmm. i would advise that knowing that it does shape the space you know thoughts become things is a real thing sometimes the thoughts that i want to share in a song is not their own sometimes you can inherit thoughts you know some See. if you're not conscious of that then you just become the conduit for foolishness you know <laughs> so <laughs> it, it's when i not again and i wouldn't knock it but conscious conscious actions will, 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 will lead you towards just knowing you know you, you will get to it and you realize that okay then just like how i learned somebody's probably learning and listening to i and my words are creating an experience if i'm okay this is this is let's say power what would i then want to create what kind of experience would i want to create you know I mean, the easiest way to even get a man to listen to him lyrics say oh let's take off the beat off of the rhythm and you start to say well yeah say acapella you can't go say it to your mother yeah man mm -hmm. if you can't say it to your mother then what kind of song you think you're saying what do you think you're talking about isn't it so people feel have that kind of respect for people ears and that kind of respect for people in general i would say that you know but then to each other and again everybody have them with them with them love you know I'm on I said this is how I make my money this is this is how I eat my yeah, food yeah so I won't knock is, it yeah. I would not I would only share how I practice and my reasons and then the things I use you know to 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 kind of keep my guide posts you know uh, I know I'm I'm speaking to a wider audience I know that music has influence. I'm not ignorant to that fact. I've been influenced by music. <laughs> wow, so, well, I'm going to try to tell you, music not influence nobody with <laughs> So I've been influenced by music in a great way, and I want to continue that process. You know what I mean? I, I love the artists that I listen to. I love what they share with me. I love how it's affected my life. I love how it's affected my conversation. I love how it introduced me to a wider world without me moving out of my community. I love that it allowed me to see above the noise i love that i now know that that is possible and then i love that music allowed me to experience all of these things you know? so i wouldn't i'll never say music now i've been influenced there that's why we are travel <laughs> yeah but the, the the thing is you know my brother is that you know we, we we have artists in the business and you know they are they are they're big artists and you know they, they said that you know, their, their music, you know, probably their music that they're doing as an artist or as a dancehall artist doesn't um, influence crime and violence. Cause not every dancehall artist um, content is is on a derogatory or you know it's dealing with you know the drugs and the guns and 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 and, and them thing there. You know, it, it probably more. And a sexual orientated um, mm -hmm. type of vibes are a party type of energy. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So yeah. probably yeah. probably feel them music not influencing, but the artists them who are doing the gun song them and you know the 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 you know you, you, you know the type of song them are talking about. Yeah, man, it, it out them one, but I, I don't know, man. Sometimes I feel like music get get. It's a bad rap sometimes too, you know, even though it does play a part. Balance it, man. Yeah, bad rap. Yeah, you get a, you get a bad rap in saying that, like I said, music introduces the narrative of gun. Mm. When I, I probably grew up in a, in a community where I'm surrounded by it, it wouldn't then be music. It'd probably just be all life live. And then mm -hmm. I, I had to say this all the while. Then if I'm then writing and, and this is my therapy and this is my process and this is my breakdown, this is what we see. Mm -hmm. Sometimes me, 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 me
No. And you know what the lyrics say? I'm tired of the shot and I'm tired of the shadow. Sometimes, like I said, we inherit narrative sometimes. Man tired of shot I'm never even see. I'm tired of gunshot I'm never even tired of people that did I'm never even see. You know what I mean? A lot of the narratives that we get introduces consistently on a day-to-day -day basis shapes our experience to make us feel like the darkness that we are living is actually all there is. You know? Like the, the bird out of door where you're not focused on is still out there. And the minute you go out there and look on it, it then becomes where your mind is resting. True. Yeah, so it's focus. It's where the youth them apply them focus and it's what you choose to focus on. Yeah, true, I mean, true. So I then will work extra harder to be able to introduce something else in the space to, like, like I said, the bird of your Nazi. <laughs> yeah, man, to, to kind of highlight something else. And that's been the, the thing that I've always wanted to do, to introduce a different narrative, to introduce something different. Because even the ideas of ourselves, that we have of ourselves, how we learn them and where we learn them from, sometimes is coming from the most frustrated space and not from any form of truth. And then this is how we're learning, you know, what we're learning, and this is how we're shaping life. And, and a lot of this is all that's happening. You know, so I try to interject sometimes. Yes, you know, a man might attack to him, and say, feel like I'm alone, and forget I'm bridging him. <laughs> For real. This is the way we are, man. So, so, and it's easy to get to those places, you know, so I just keep on sprinkling as much as the jar when we can find uh, from the passion and just, you know, highlight some light. Highlight some light. Uh, the lighthouse living, we call it, you know? Yes, I talk to me about um, talk to me about Africa. You know, first time going going there. You know, what what, was what was it like for the eye? This was beautiful. To that the first time going there was in Gambia to um, see. Sorry, she was staged with busy and um, my family from over here, the producer team, and to go see busy performing. Uh, in a banjo in a stadium that was his first time there that was a beautiful thing to see how people welcome sound from half of the island and for even go see a place that look exactly like the island wow. and I said like they cut out Gambia out of Jamaica and then took out Jamaica out of Ghana yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we see but then I went to Ghana again and you know the, the, the thing that always comes to mind when I mention that is if you if, feel if, if, if you don't feel like a spirit have a voice, I heard it when my land and uh, like the, 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 the clearest thank you, clearest thank you, you know of I just like, uh, overwhelmed feeling of like wow, you know in Austria them tell me say every year go your walk with ten thousand ancestors with you, and I feel like I heard the whole army of of, of them I mean just just thank you for. Yeah, like, I like this moment, yeah. Because most time our mind, we can connect the mind and allow the mind to move the body, which would then, which is they say is the vessel, which then allows the spirit to experience, which is what it knows. Yeah, you know, it's pleased, and all these three things are in line. So if you get your mind right and move your body, you find that your body then allows the spirit to experience a world of things that it it already knows, just needs to. It's just you know. It, it, it first for it to remember and to for you to remember how that you're remembering it you know because you get there you feel like you reach already like uh, you've been here so many times so so many years or so you've been here and you've never left you know so it's these reminders that's like unfolding the moment like that when we reach a ghana that's how i experienced it and the people them and taz as in i said taz taz is one of my friends that i met through the internet but when we reach it's like i'm a brother i'm a blood brother so you can't go up my mother yard and my mother have a beer crate and a beer bread and go pick some coke and that and we just sit on all that chair, you know. And Pause. I went there to just feel that tangible first hand experience outside of the narrative given outside of the narrative that I learned through all that I feared and I was worried about. Mm -hmm. which then shapes the foundation of the I am. I feel like there's so much more to life than the worries that it comes with. And I want to just go feel that. I mean, you go there, you see people, man. You see people that remind you that despite of everything that we can consider as well, here we are, you know? 
Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Uh, it's good to, to, to be there, to be reminded of that. That way, here, you know? Pause. Imagine me there and I'm saying, hey, we are killing kill off one head. And I look outside and I'm like, I'm looking at everybody that is doing it. And I'm wondering why and when do does anybody that is not doing anything that's considered as wrong then become the face of a people? What represents where our people are? How is it that it, when the when the, like I said, the country contribute and everything that, mm. that how, how the I am is shaped and how it's been navigated by its emotions and, and, and all of these other stimulus stimulus. It's like where everybody was last year is based upon where they were politically and I feel like there's life beyond the politics of life. So it's like it's hard to shape a narrative outside of it. But there is life happening outside of that. This is just where the, the mind and the operating system for how the world set is. And I said the world is a wicked place. Where is the life is a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Natural. Natural. Yeah man. Natural. Yeah, man. So life is beautiful. The world you see it and when we can differentiate sometimes these space and compartmentalize them we maneuver better. Like I won't have to wake up and be exactly where I, I, I got the news is saying. Because if I was in another country, that's where I would have been. That's what life would have been. And for the mere fact that I'm not seeing the news, because that means that this is not what's transpiring. Which means that what's transpiring is what I'm ingesting in the moment. So I choose my frequencies wisely. And I use something else to shape the moment. Georgia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. yes. yes, Randy. Um, great, and I feel I have the hype on um, you know, the program here. And um, what, what, what's next for the I? Um, I know it's you know, it, it probably haven't been you know the, the easier ride you know as an artist yeah. over the last so probably um, 20 months or so. You know, mm. I mean, um, what's yeah. next for the I? You know. Well, we're going to continue um, focusing on this, this project. Um, sharing again. I have a space over here so, um, with my friends. Big up Star Bingy, Big up Dolans. Big up the brothers and they always come around when we're, when we're creating. I like being in the studio and helping developing the talent and helping developing and sharing what I've picked up upon the journey. That's what I, was, I just want to keep on doing that, sharing. Planning shows and, and, and tours that ask me to do shows and I'm open to do them, but I really want to get, I want to finalize this space first. I'm working on this album. I've been working on this album for quite some time and I want to, yeah, apply some more of this, this, this acquired knowledge before I then go back on the road and share some new music. But that's what, because I have not given mine a hundred percent. I'm working with other artists and helping them to develop them. I'm not in a rush, mm. you see me? Because I take time and, and allow the magic to do its work as well. So we, we can look for um, uh, an album early next year or some part in next yeah, year. Yeah, look for an album sometime. I, but I've been saying this for quite some time, so I didn't want to do that. But, but guaranteed, look out for some more music with the different artists I'm working with there. And you know who I do a song with the other day? Sister Oji. Yeah. See? Yeah, man. It's a beautiful song. And there's a reason behind why we are celebrating the fact that we're able to do this again. I love, I would have loved if, I'd, I, you know, more of this was happening. Yeah. I just could just go work with the artists and get some more work done. So it's about applying and creating a space to share the possibilities of that. We need more of that over here, you know, this space here. Talk to me quick, quick before the I move about, um, you know, collaborating with uh, Mighty Manuel and Lion Shire, yeah, them two little yeah, yeah. <laughs> so them two lion there. Uh, yeah, man, from the first time I came across, came across them on the, the Intersphere, I loved it, you know. I loved I loved where they are and giving that, uh, yeah, I would now, yo, I learn, I learn, more, I learn, more, I learn, I learn, more, I learn. And I see how young they are and open they are to learning. And I can just imagine what that's going to look like, you know, as it unfolds, you see it? We just love it and then it's a family. It's a family structure. I celebrate family. Yes, every sir. time I meet, every time I meet someone, I say I'm meeting their parents at work. You know, every time, whatever the experience is, is how you unfold from your parents' space. So, I saw them and I saw 
the parents, you know. I saw what the union brought forward and then the joy that this, it is created. I'm saying, I could be that children more. I'm that children, man. I'm growing up and I'm going to the studio, I'm going to the studio. And yeah, you know, I love the energy. I love, I love watching them work. I wish I could have sit down and do a lot more than the engineering session, you know. But it was, it was good to work with them. And I'm, I'm happy for them, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do in the future as well. Yeah. Like, yes, I. Yes, I. And um, it's a very, um, very interesting song, Guns and Knife. Knife and Guns. Yeah, you know. Two of them, man, because, again, injecting something to try and shift the narrative and whatever, any way we can do to create the conversation, you know, to share a different vibe. Here I am, we're ready, man. We're ready to do that. And that's a, yeah, man. That's a song where, yeah, the mother them would appreciate. Because mm-hmm. sometimes a man move to take somebody's life, not considering that he's a son, you know? True. Or a daughter. I don't know how much time they made past that. I don't know how much of them have children and then think of it in that manner before they make a move, you know? But that's somebody's daughter, man, that's somebody's son, man. So that's it, I know. Yeah. Yes, I. Yes, my brother. Um, great honor, you know. Great honor, great honor for you up there on the platform, yeah. And, um, you know, it's a joy, you know. Great to see the man, and um, you know, we just want to encourage the man again for you know continue to do, you know, what the eyes doing, you know. We, you know, I'm inspired by what the eyes doing and. You know, encourage also, you know. So uh, keep doing what you're doing, my brother, and um, you know, keep spreading that positive message and you know, positive vibes and energy and you know, the whole frequency, you know. Yes, that's sir. the vibe. That's the vibe. My brother said to me, I'm telling before we move. He said, "Man, I had this thing, you know, because we know Salah now. Then I spoke to a friend yesterday, and my phone when he was saying, 'Yo.'" I go through and then we calm down that two minutes by showing how mutual the vibe is. <laughs> we go through, so we are, everybody go through that thing, you know? And they say, yeah, but it's not easy to maintain the space in you know, the heart of which part of the family in Jamaica, near here, about this place, you know? You see so sometimes we just know, say, I have somebody there, and mm-hmm. I was told about this from my youth. <laughs> so it's not the easiest thing to maintain. Um, yeah, you know, I, and, and then also apply yourself in a manner, you know. I see other people, you know, they don't find it easy. Yeah. So, we're grateful. Yes, come <laughs> Yes, fire. Yeah, yes, man, sir. give thanks. Yeah, man, give thanks to the moment, my lad, you know. And yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, man, give thanks to yeah. I and I alive still. Yes, see, sir. Yeah, man, bless the family and... You know, more strength and and, and, yep. and prosperity, you know, and you know, with full coming projects. You know, what I mean a whole lot more we could talk about, but you know, we'll leave it for you know the next time. But the next the next reasoning, you know, yeah. the next reasoning. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and, and then reason. yeah man, let's think like that. Well, I, 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 it won't it won't be that long again. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah man, give thanks my brother. Yeah man, you know the work go. You know what I mean? Just continue doing your thing and you know, we're there. See? Gratitude, gift and sin and art of love. See? Yeah, man. Manners and respect, peace and love. Ja, yes. Rastafari, my lord. Yes, yes, my people, see it there. Um, our honorable guest, Randy Valentine. Yeah, give thanks you know, for everyone who is taking the time on today and um, you know, holding a vibe with us. If it's the first time they had them a tune in on the platform, you don't know, so they had them, uh, they had them could hit that notification bell, you know, when they had them subscribe, please subscribe and, um, you know, be a part of the family. See, until we meet again, that's what we say, Holy Man Walai, Selassie Aija, Rastafari, Mindset. <laughs>